In this video, I would like to show you the differences between the 55 movement standard form and the round form. I have made a series for the 54 standard form, um, so uh, you have to practice the standard form, familiarize with the standard, uh, the standard form before you go into the round form. Okay, here is, I'll show you why. And for those who have practiced um, the so-called square form, which is supposed to be standard form, uh, you may notice that probably you do it different than I did, and here's probably the reason why you do it different from me. Okay. In the 55 movement standard form, uh, unlike the 108, instead of these are five movements are in the same order as in 108, but instead of calling them one, two, three, four, five, I actually named them, order them as 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and then two, and then three. Okay, this is because of the 54 movement round form. One is actually the combination of the one, two, three, and two is the grab burst tail, and three is a single whip. So, uh, unlike the um, the standard form, uh, the grab burst tail is fourth and single whip is fifth. Where in the round form, is grab burst tail is second, a single whip is third because we are doing all the three movements mostly the same time or in a in a close sequence. Okay. So here's why it's in my list of the 54 movements, standard form is actually more than 54, it's around like 60, 62, 63, I didn't actually count them. Okay. And in standard form, we are doing it 100% 100 as we complete the movement, and then we continue with the next and the next, and the next, and the next. So we are doing it up to the limit of that move. So for example, I raise my arms, raise my hands, up to this movement, and then we carry on the next, and then we carry on the next. So it's more, that's why people call it square, which is different from the round, but in this is the standard form that we train to, um, to push ourselves to the limit of our body. Um, this is the lengthwise, not strengthwise. Okay, so we are stretching out the maximum of how we can stretch, uh, how we can hold, how we balance. Where in the round form, that the prerequisites of the round form is that you understand the rock standard form, and also you should be able to. Um, do the sitting correct, do the lunging correct, uh, the hack hanging, the um, how the solo leg and empty legs distribute. To do it round, yeah, I like doing this. To do it round, we are not, we don't have this sharp cut where you know from we transform from movement from 1.1, the beginning of Tai Chi, to raise hand upward and lift hand loop. We're not just to wait until we finish, and we finish when we finish. We are transforming, there's a buffer, there's a buffer range, say approximately 10%. So 10% from this move, and 10% from this move, so in the only 80% range of the movement by itself. Therefore, uh, we have to seek the transition from point to point to make it connect round, okay? Just like in some of my videos, I have um, sometimes because of the, um, the camera and things, I have two um, set of two videos and join together, and I try to connect them in a way that is not like a oh, shortcut or uh, I just use some visual effect, and this is the similar idea. 
you are transforming from one move to another move, and you don't want to do sharp cut. You want to blend them in, okay? And you blend them so that they run smoothly. So instead of just stretching forward and then maximum and come back, then it goes probably ninety percent and start coming back. Okay. But then as a lot of people that who try to do round form without actually practice standard form seriously, they kind of like expanding this. So it should be like 10%, then becomes 30, 20%, 30%. And you get less. As you know, as this buffer range get more, of course, then the, the form itself gets less. Okay. So you start getting like this. You know, you see a lot of people doing Tai Chi like this. Um, but this because this is too short. You know the, the form itself is too short and the buffer is getting too much, so it's kind of like blending them too much, and start losing this hundred percent. Okay. So in the later videos, I will show you the uh, fifty-four movement round form, uh, and I hope that I I would highlight. I should remember to highlight um, the. The, the transition, especially this 10%. Um, in the 54 movement or the 108 movement standard form, the training form, you're seeking 100%, okay? And you're breaking down into step by step. So it is easy, you have more focus, you're paying more attention to this body part and movement and um, weight distribution the solid leg and the empty leg and stuff and how your wrist and how your hand should be placed but in the round form you are doing say multitasking you are doing all things you know all the hands and put the legs on the right place at the right time all at once so it'd be more difficult it's like you're getting playing a song you know with a musical, a musical instrument and you try to do it all together and the transition, it is the 10% that we try to focus and make it smooth. Okay, so this is an introduction for, to the 54 movements round form. And before we begin, I just would like to highlight the, the difference between the standard form and the round form, how we transform from standard form to round form. Okay, so it's actually, uh, they coexist. Okay, it's not like um, I go. I like some students come to me, and I tell told them that uh, uh, we are not teaching Tai Chi dance. Okay, we're not just go for the round form. It's like dancing. Um, I want to give provide the true health benefits, the beneficial ingredient of Tai Chi. So starting with the standard form, get the song exercise uh, working every day practice the form routine to um, to make you feel what it actually does to your body how you um, distribute your weight strengthen your muscles and tendons and get your cheese running get your meridians running get your get your actual points um, working properly okay then we go to round form so round form is with higher level and it is the 10 percent that we seek to transform to, to transit from one form to another without losing the 100 100 percent of the each and individual move from the standard form okay so yes this is the introduction of the 54 movement round form